I have to say that obviously things are different today than uh, they might normally be, but I, I think that there's something really powerful that uh, we, we should consider uh, today. And I have to tell you personally, I'm, I'm deeply inspired. reminds me of a song uh, by a band, a rock band called the Foo Fighters, and they, the, the title of the song it says, Times Like These, okay, Times Like These We Learn to Love Again. And I thought about that song a lot yesterday, and I realized that, yeah, there are probably things in life, events, that remind us of what's important, but there's something more going on here today than remembering what's important. And you couldn't have picked a more perfect gospel for what's going on right now. Because this idea of a house being built on something solid and re realizing that that solidness is love. It's God's love. And it's a house that is already built here. On behalf of Chloe and Austin, I want to welcome you today, and I'd like to just remind everybody that when we do something in Christ, we do that in all that Christ has created, and that at this moment, all of heaven is celebrating with you today, and all of God's creation rejoices in what you do. You know, remembering is what we do when we read the scripture and we listen to Genesis, and we realize that God is the source of all life when we recognize that when St. Paul uses the word love, you can change that with the name Jesus on every sentence, and it makes sense. But we're remembering what they said, what the story has been. Because the gospel doesn't say if the storm comes, it says when it will come. And you're ready. In the midst of it, right? You see, there's a difference between looking and remembering and reflecting on the story and becoming the story. And that's what you do today. You become the story of faith. You become the story of love. And the house that is built is getting rooms added on. I'm very proud of you both. Let's do this. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I, Austin, take you, Chloe, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. In bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love you. To love you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Now, Chloe. I, Chloe, take you, Austin. I, Chloe, take you, Austin. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love you. To love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Bless and sanctify your servants in their love, O Lord, and let these rings be a sign of their faithfulness and remind them of their love for one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Repeat after me. 
Austin, receive this ring. Austin, receive this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Chloe and Austin have also selected the unity candle as a symbol of their love. And it gives me great pleasure at this time to introduce for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Austin and Chloe Blessinger. Please kiss the bride. Life is better when I 